This video is sponsored by Okazu patrons and by my book, By Your Side, The First 100 Years of Yuri Anime and Manga, available now. Links in the show notes. Hello, and welcome back to Yuri Studio. I'm Erica Friedman, and this is where I answer questions I get at Yuri panels or online. Like so many other people, I started this channel at the beginning of the pandemic when anime conventions were canceling, and I wasn't going to go to the ones that were going ahead due to health constraints. This year, I've returned to live events, but I'm being really selective and still happily enjoying doing online events. I'm also sticking with Yuri Studio because I'm really enjoying it, and I hope you are as well. Today, we're going to do something that's very near and dear to my heart. Sports Yuri. If you've read just about anything I've written, you'll know I am always on the lookout for a really good Sports Yuri series. I have a pretty specific idea of what I mean when I say really good and Sports Yuri, and over the years, a lot of series have come close, but very few have hit the mark. I'm going to talk today about some series that do exist and why that sport would make a great sport for Yuri, and what that series did right or wrong. Please be warned that some of what I'm talking about today is no longer in print, but I'll make every effort to put links into the show notes so you can get as much as possible legally. If a series isn't listed, there isn't any easy way to get it. Try checking used manga stores. Today, we're starting with a sport you might not realize is a rich Yuri history. We're going to start off with ping pong. In the middle of the 20th century, Takahashi Makoto wrote a classic of girls manga that can also be seen as a proto Yuri manga. Sakura Namiki followed the lives of three girls in a private school. Yukiko, a first year in high school. Third year, Chikage, who takes Yukiko as her little sister. And a second year, Ayako, who decides that she wants Yukiko for herself. This Akogari triangle is reminiscent of an earlier novel, Otome no Minato, proving yet again that a good Yuri trope is hard to kill. When we first meet Yukiko, she's in the middle of a heated ping-pong match, thus showing us that she's a modern girl, that is to say a girl who's independent, fashionable, and athletic. This early 20th century archetype was eventually discarded in favor of the post-World War II good wife, wise mother, something that's still having consequences in Japan today. But for a while, young women were encouraged to be as cosmopolitan as they could be. Sports have always been encouraged in women's education in Japan as being good for the mind and the body. Suzuki Kauri wrote an homage to this early proto Yuri manga in her 2012 series Hana Tohoshi, which ran in Tsuboi magazine and was collected for two volumes. It's not officially licensed, but suffice to say that it ends where Sakura Namiki begins with a heated ping pong game. The point here is that of all the sports in Yuri manga to date, Ping Pong has claimed to being the very first. Having gotten off to a strong start, I'm going to come to a crashing halt here for a moment, just a second, to take my cap off to two sports that really ought to have excellent stories but don't. That is to say, there are stories that just ain't it. First, I'm going to rush through a sport that really ought to have better representation than it does, and it pains me to say that as it's near and dear to my heart. Competitive swimming seems like a really low bar for Yuri, and if you look at the number of manga that has featured swimming, you'd think it'd be easy to find something outstanding. Sadly, most swim team Yuri are one-shots, and a lot of them are neither about the swimming nor about the Yuri. There are a few that are good, but again, we're looking at a one-shot here or there, often in a larger collection, anthology, or magazine. The fact is that I found a whole lot of stories with swimming, but not about swimming. Swimming is definitely a sport that needs a Yuri series of its own. Also, when the Olympics came to Tokyo for 2020, which became 2021, every sport in Japan was trying to drum up interest through pop culture media. Competitive climbing, known as bouldering, showed up in a manga in comic Yuri Hime called Pochi Climb. This manga by Mintara was... okay. It tried to be a few too many things at once, and it ended up shoving the Yuri into the middle of an explainer manga and a diet manga with a decidedly prurient gaze. It just really wasn't a great sports Yuri manga. A lot of little lesbians in the 70s and 80s found their interest in sports piqued by tennis, with Billie Jean King being the leader of our pack, followed by other notable names. If you were a girl and were looking at other girls playing racket sports, you weren't playing ping pong. 
you were playing tennis. Actually, now that I think about it, everyone was playing tennis in the late 70s, and kind of the way everyone played bowling in the early 70s. And there was a manga for that, if you had that reading Yuri Between the Lines ability. Ace o Narai by Yamamoto Sumiko wasn't a Yuri manga, but it was definitely a tennis manga and has a blistering rivalry that ends up, at least in the anime, with Ruzaki Reika, known as Otufujin, dressed in her Ojo-sama finest, and protagonist Oka Hiromi, hair cut short, dressed in a three-piece white suit, heading off to America, as one always did when one was a thinly veiled lesbian metaphor. Tennis was almost always a thinly veiled lesbian metaphor. As an aside, Billie Jean King herself put in an appearance in Ace on Arai. Speaking of lesbians, I want to give an honorable mention to a sport that had lesbians almost before Yuri had sports. In the late 1990s, when I was trawling through stores for used manga, I came across a series called No Side. It's about a guy playing rugby, and really not Yuri at all, but there was a lesbian character which I thought promising. She was treated okay, but wasn't a major character. Like swimming, rugby clearly needs a Yuri manga about a lesbian league. And while we're on the topic of lesbian leagues, this seems a great time to talk about softball and baseball. Cools, Eshikate o Shiranai Anata'e, with story by Takahashi Miyuki and art by Watanabe Makiko, was a manga of the thousands that was explicitly about a lesbian softball team. Cools, which stands for Kiss Only One Lady, and is possibly the worst sports team name ever, is the story of Saya, a woman who slowly but steadily comes to grips with the fact that she is a lesbian. She meets, falls in love with, joins a softball team with, moves in with, breaks up with, and gets back together with Tomo, an out lesbian. The subject matter is told with a definite edge of, it's okay to be gay. Along the way, the audience is also introduced to other sexual and gender minorities for what ends up being a very special episode of a KC dessert manga. If this is too real for you, there's plenty of baseball Yuri that isn't quite baseball and isn't quite Yuri and definitely isn't real. Princess Nine, Taisho Baseball Girls, and Tamayomi are three anime that get my vote for silliest excuse for bar fight. For those fans who see Yuri in them, there is Yuri. But these legitimately do have some strong baseball vibes. Princess Nine was an early fan favorite. I have a number of friends who stand by that as one of their formative Yuri sports dramas. Taisho Baseball Girls also has an overtly feminist perspective, so if I'm going to suggest one of these, it's that one. There's only the thinnest frisson of anything that one might be able to call Yuri, but other than that, Taisho Baseball Girls is an excellent anime, and I can recommend it for a lot of reasons. And then we have Tamayomi. Again, folks who think of it as Yuri have strong convictions about that. It's a good explainer series about baseball at the very least. Still, I'd love to see a lesbian Adashi Mitsuru give us a long women's softball series with the blood, sweat, and tears we regularly get for boys' baseball. Okay, real talk. We do not actually have an epic track and field Yuri series. What we do have is a couple of good Yuri series that are totally worth reading or watching on their own merits, in which being a runner is a key element of one or more characters. The Kasasan series by Takashima Hiromi begins with Kasasan on her high school track team being watched by Yamada as she tends plants on school grounds. Now, in current volumes, Kasasan is on her college track team, and she and Yamada are hoping to live together in the future. Kindred Spirits on the Roof is a visual novel that was a huge success in Japan, one of the first Yuri visual novels that really made it big. Among the storylines is that of captain and vice captain of the track team, Amashima Matsuri and Inamoto Miyu. They have been lovers for a while and are looking at a future together. The tension in their relationship comes from the fact that they have different ideas about what that future is, but for both of them, track is very important. In Kano's Kiss and White Lily for My Dearest Girl, Mizuki is a main character who, again, lives for running. One of her main character arcs covers how much track means to her, but it's not the only arc for her, nor is it a one-shot mention. In the course of nine volumes, we actually get a really solid picture of Mizuki and her lover Moe, but we don't get a story about track and field. In fact, like swimming, there are a grillion one-shots, but no blood and glory long-form series yet. I'm always going to say yet because I believe. Before I move on to some Yuri contenders, I want to give another honorable mention to a series that was Yuri and sports, but not really. Battle Athletes is a franchise that gave us two amazing Yuri couples 
hours of creepy fan service, training segments, blood, sweat, and tears, and almost no actual sports. In the Battle Athletes manga, our main couple gets the kiss the anime denied them, and the even better secondary couple gets a joyful life together on a tropical island so the anime can go suck it. Here's the real end of Battle Athletes. I think it's time to talk about some combat sports. Even if you don't enjoy them, you have to admit that martial arts makes a great venue for Yuri. We'll begin with a classic of wrestling, Abazan S. Nomatsue by Monden Akiko. The story has all the hallmarks of a perfect sports series, beginning with the classic setup. A young person signs up for a physically tough sport, in this case, professional wrestling. Akari moves up the ranks. She takes blows to her ego and her body and gets stronger. She faces rivals who fight unfairly and rivals she can respect. And eventually, Akari finds her perfect rival, you. You and she gavot around one another. Eventually, you tells Akari she likes her. But sadly for us, this was not a happily ever after for the lesbian. Yu is rejected and Akari ends up marrying a man. Still, they remain friends and professional rivals. Not a happy Yuri ending, but nonetheless, a pretty solid sports story. While we're talking nonetheless, let me take a moment to suggest Air Master. If you break down the individual components, Air Master is perfect on paper. Maki is a former high school gymnast whose acrobatic skills give her paranormal aerial skills as a street fighter. She does get beat up a lot, she gets back up, and takes her opponent down in typical shonen fighting style. In the course of the story, Maki saves one of her friends from being harassed, so Mina falls in love with her. That's about as far as the Yuri goes, honestly. Even in the manga, it's an afterthought after volumes and volumes of brutal fighting. Maki imagines marrying Mina, but she's been beaten nearly unconscious at the time. That said, the fighting is great, the music is terrific, and... Maki's rival is the greatest anime character ever, Sakiyama Kaori. Like I said, on paper, this is a great anime. In reality, it's ugly, servicey, and the manga bugged itself down in the last dozen or so volumes, ending on a Maki one, the end kind of vibe. Nonetheless, I love this series and was not going to exclude it here. I want to bring your attention to an ongoing doujinshi series of note here. Magnum Lily is a boxing yuri doujinshi. That is to say, it is 1000% boxing with maybe some yuri-ish undertones so far, but it's being sold on Lilica, so I respect that it is meant to be understood as a yuri series. I've bought it and I've read all five issues so far, and I like it. It's basically an explainer manga about boxing with an enthusiastic and likable protagonist. Well, for me, I appreciate Yuri's desire to pound the bejesus out of her opponent. Your mileage may vary. From my perspective, it's the heart that really sells this here. I want to be clear here. I genuinely enjoy combat sports. I taught martial arts for years, and I still practice, although sparring was never something I did regularly. We didn't fight fair, basically. I've watched mixed martial arts fights for years for fun, and in fact, Watching people training really hard and fighting really hard while I sit on my sofa eating potato chips is one of my favorite pastimes. So, when one of my favorite artists took two of my favorite things, neither of them being the potato chips, and combined them, you know I was ready. Friday is the Day by Hayashi Suzuru is very close to the perfect combat sports yuri. Hayashi Sensei is the creator of Hayate Crossblade, which is not a sports manga but does feature combat with swords as a main part of the plot. Friday is the Day was a one-shot that ran in Yuri Tora Jump, Issue 2, the Yuri Anthology from Ultra Jump Magazine. It's a one-shot that combines Yuri and mixed martial arts in a very visceral way as two women pummel each other into a confession of love while bystanders in the boxing gym watch and applaud. I love it so much. And this brings me to the final series I want to talk about. I've left it for last, in part because it's ongoing as I make this video, and I have no idea what will happen, although I have some ideas about what might happen, but mostly for one very important reason. When I was growing up, there was one sport that was the lesbian sport. I mean, sure, tennis, but the lesbian sport was golf. The Dinosaur Golf Weekend was the lesbian equivalent of the white party. It was the thinnest of thinly veiled lesbian metaphors. 
everyone who was anyone in lesbian society was there and it was all on TV so I could see those people in the stands. While no one ever mentioned anything about them being together, there were so many couples at Dinah Shore that even baby like me could tell golf was where the lesbians were at. If you watch my video on Gateway Anime Part 2, the 2000s, you'll be familiar with the Girls with Guns on the Run trilogy by B-Train of Noir, Madlax, and El Cazador de la Bruja. Of these three, Madlax took place in a town called Nafras. So, imagine my surprise when Birdie Wing Gulf Girl's story starts up in a town called Nafras. Thanks to Kuroda Yosuke, who also did story composition for legitimately a lot of Yuri and Yuri adjacent series, we're back in Nafras. Birdie Wing is the story of Eve Alion, a young woman with extraordinary golfing ability who plays underground mafia golf for money to keep her acquired family and the orphan kids they've fostered all together. Eve is drawn deeper and deeper into games with more and more dangerous stakes, but her real goal is to play against another young golfer with whom she had an instant connection, Amawashi Aoi. This series is currently running on Crunchyroll, so I won't spoil anything except to say it's fantastic. The Yuri is so far very Thousand-style deep emotional connection and implication and a predatory lesbian or two and a few offhand references to getting married and being together forever, but this series has surprised me so many times already, I don't even want to suggest what I think may happen. Suffice it to say, it's Yuri without being Yuri, and also not really at all about golf, and despite that, it is absolutely the greatest anime I've watched in years, and is without a doubt the Yuri sports anime I've been waiting for. So definitely, go watch Birdie Win. Next up, we need a really kick-ass swimming Yuri anime, or rugby, or track. Thanks again to all my Okazu patrons for making this video possible. If you enjoy this and my other Yuri videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon or Ko-fi. You'll find links to everything I can link to in the show notes. Don't forget to buy my book on the history of Yuri, By Your Side, The First 100 Years of Yuri Anime Manga. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Yuri Studio. I'm still pretty annoyed at Uriah and Ice, honestly.